we've been hearing from a lot of our Autodesk customers that they are starting to use Nearmap and their offerings more and more on their projects. So I wanted to, to create a short video today to show you guys how you can start to leverage the outputs from Nearmap um, through the Autodesk range of software for your projects. So here I have a series of LAS files. These are point clouds that have come from Nearmap. They shared them with us. I've processed those point clouds in Recap Pro. And what you end up with is the point cloud um, data, as you can see here. Really important to know that the coordinate system information comes in. That, that is used further on down the line. Once you're inside of Recap, then you can start to look at the elevation of your points and do some sort of basic um, viewing and analysis of things um, in here. Once you save the uh, recap file out as an RCP, then you can bring that into your InfraWorks environment. Now what you can see here if I navigate around is that point cloud geometry has come in uh, quite nicely and you can sort of see the, the surrounding area. The processing I then go and do is uh, you use the point cloud terrain uh, tool here to analyze the point cloud data uh, to pull out a terrain surface for uh, InfraWorks. Now, once you hit start processing, it will go through and it will analyze the, the area and you end up with a much more accurate terrain surface to base your designs off. As you can see here, focusing on this area, I've gone in using InfraWorks, uh, modeled some trees and started to put in a really basic uh, conceptual type of design here uh, with a little post office and some, some um, post office uh, boxes. And you can even uh, use InfraWorks to uh, go and start to add some things like um, cars and people to your models. And, and there's a lot of flexibility here from a conceptual perspective to get your designs uh, up and running to a, a nice useful um, stage. I've also got a Revit model in this in in this this project here. So this has come from uh, someone in my team, and you can see that that information comes in um, quite nicely and quite accurately. This is just the architectural model. There's no structure inside of it, uh, so that's pretty clear that you know there's no structural support um, here. Once you are finished with uh, the, your, your designs inside of InfraWorks, you can also uh, export out of here the IMX file. Now, once you export out the IMX file, it's really, again, it's important to know that your coordinate system is, uh, is in there. You can bring that data into Civil 3D. Now, what we have here is a tin surface that is coming from the IMX. And I've geolocated this project so you can see the aerial imagery in the background. Uh, and if I turn that off, we're left with the tin. So put that back on. Let's say this is where I put the post office in. Let's say we want to add some road in here. As a civil designer, you could pretty quickly come in here. Let's just call it that. Add some really basic road geometry. You have an alignment in there. Just turn this off to show you. There's your alignment. We hit save on that now. Come back over to InfraWorks. Go to our data sources. We're going to import a civil 3D DWG. We're not too fussed about this surface here. What we are interested in is the roads. That will add this information to our, our data tree here. We can then uh, ensure our alignment here that we've just created comes in. The, geo, the geolocation in the coordinate system has to be correct. And we want to drape that onto the surface. We can also play with a preliminary style here. 
So let's just go with uh, you know something really basic, two lanes. Click OK. Just refresh that. And you'll see that we have that really basic road that's come in to InfraWorks that we've sketched from Civil 3D. Going out of Civil 3D, you can also publish the surface to BIM 360. You can see here, this is the output, and that publishes it up to the cloud. Once that's done, you can come back into the Revit world. You have the ability to link topography, navigate to your project, and what you end up with is a linked topo inside that model. If you tab select on that topo, you can then assign different materials to it. And you can also manipulate the topography just like you would inside of Revit by adding things like uh, sub uh, building pads and sub regions. You can see how then this process from taking really accurate near map data from point clouds in Recap all the way through to InfraWorks, Civil 3D, and in Revit is a really seamless process and something you guys should be exploring amongst your teams.